think I'm, I generally look for people that are looking for something long term, and I've already shown that they can do that. Mm -hmm. Um, I think it's interesting that you're, you're mentioning sort of doubling down on things that have already worked. One of the things that I think that I learned from you over the years was to actually just go ahead and get started. Like when I'm just talking about um, the fact that you did the webinar and so many people just never even get started. Yeah. Did you ever struggle with, with that yourself? I mean, that's what I've learned from you. What have I not started? Um, I think it's interesting to notice the things that I avoid. Yeah. Like, what things do you have on your to-do list that are longer than a week, and why? Yeah. Right? Because we all have things on our to-do list, and I, I notice that I'm like, okay, what is it about this one uh, that I'm not willing to, to go into? Um, and I think what I've noticed professionally is that, like, you get into these comfortable parts where you're like, I'm kind of learning, but I'm a professional, but I'm not really growing as much. Yeah. And I've, I felt like that a little bit about two to three months ago. Um, things that I have avoided have been, like, recruiting, specifically. I've definitely avoided recruiting for a long time where I kind of come into it and I get out of it. Um, it's very taxing. It's very, it's very promising. Like we've hired people recently, Barr, Rana, Kevin, some of these guys, Sean, that like bring so much energy and life to our company that I just love being around them. And that's where it's very rewarding. But it's like 90% of the rest of the time I'm avoiding, I'm not avoiding it, but I'm like, this is really not fun work. Yeah. Um, and so in terms of like getting started with that, it was just like, I think with most success, it comes through a lot of sacrifice and suffering and things you don't want to do. Yeah. Like my favorite, oh, sorry. I was going to say the recruiting, you, uh, and don't, stop apologizing. Just kidding. <laughs> I won't. I'm kidding. You can apologize all you want. Uh, with the re recruiting. I don't, I, well, I don't like when people apologize unnecessarily. Like if you're from Hawaii, people right. know, if you're in Hawaii, Hawaiians do it. Like, really? I have a bunch of Hawaiian friends. They'll say sorry a lot. I don't know why that is, but it's interesting. Notice that we have a Hawaiian friend. Tidbit yeah. Out. I had a roommate once that said sorry a lot. Hmm. It was, too much. Oh, that's sorry. Too many sorries. Yeah. All right, so what are you saying about you recruiting? Okay with it? Yeah, uh, so the recruiting, uh, I completely forgot what I was going to ask about you getting about getting started. Recruiting. I mean, oh, if it, did, did you ever get better at recruiting and start, and start to find any sort of enjoyment in it? Like yeah. you were talking about having struggling with starting recruiting. Was that because, okay, I, I don't even know how to get started and I haven't tried and failed enough to have some groundwork to work with. Yeah. And then eventually, did you find a way to enjoy elements of it? The two things that have, see, binary again, but a few things have helped me with recruiting. One, when you see the results. So I think there's things we do in life that we don't really want them. Yeah. Like you're doing it and you're like, this sucks. And I don't even want the end of it. But I know once I've hired people, like these recent guys and girls who've joined our team, I'm like, oh, I know it's worth it. So I know the effort will be worth it. Two things that I've done that have really helped me embrace the experience and like go into it is number one, I mean, I'm doing this thing. I started as a joke, but it's called the no complaining mode. Mm -hmm. And so for now, three weeks, I don't complain. Right. I don't, so I was joking with Neville because I was well, going for a walk with my good friend Neville, copywritingcourse.com, 2Ks. And uh, I was complaining about a lot of stuff. I was like, my girlfriend, who, you know, girlfriend, company stuff, the exercising, my hand hurts. It's like a Jewish mother to some extent. And he's like, dude, just don't complain all day tomorrow. Shut the fuck up. I was like, what do you mean? He's like, just don't fucking complain at all. So like the, the whole day, the whole next day, I was texting him the most like positive messages. I said, Neville, I hope the lightness shines through you today. <laughs> Neville, I hope, you know, I hope the chariots and the golds and the gods and everything you want today is as magical as you could ever imagine. Plus one. How did it feel when you were sending the positive messages? The positive it, it was a joke, but there's something joke. there where, um, and I've been doing it now three weeks, and I'm wanting to spread the gospel of the no complaint mode, um, or no complaint day, because what's happened is that when you're not complaining about stuff, you're thinking of solutions. That's yeah. what I realized, is that when I'm not complaining, so with recruiting, something that was challenging, yes, but it's like, I'm not going to complain, I'm going to go into it, I'm going to face it, and then eventually you figure out solutions to things, and it doesn't become as much of like, oh, I have to do this stuff, so I don't complain. Second thing... Um, you kind of hinted on it, and I'm, I'm really glad you brought that up or you started moving towards that, is I had this girlfriend in high school, Loretta, and uh, we would be at my house, or we'd be hanging out, and she'd always say, make it fun. Yeah. And I got to the point, I'm like, shut the fuck up. Like, I'm not making things fun. But now, I really, she was right. Yeah. And so, in the work you're doing, how it, all work is going to have some kind of grueling thing, but how can you make it fun? So, like, lawn mowing, let's say. Josh, one of the guys that works with us, 
he listens to podcasts and audiobooks, and he's like, I love lawn mowing. Like his favorite thing of the week is besides working, obviously, in his family, uh, is lawn mowing because he made it a fun activity for himself to look forward to. Yeah. So with recruiting, you know, it's because I'm going to these people and I'm like, hello, and they're like, yeah, hi, and I'm asking the same questions, and they're all boring as shit, and these people don't have any excitement. And I'm like thinking to myself, like, all right, how do I make these fun? Now when I talk to people in recruiting, I'm just, I just talk about them. I'm like, say, hey, what'd you have for dinner? Oh, cool, what kind of movies are you watching? And I'm just actually trying to get to know someone and make it a more enjoyable conversation. So I, I start looking forward to it. Like if I'm talking to a marketer, I'm like, what kind of marketing things have you worked on lately? How'd those work? Mm-hmm. Oh, cool, anything didn't work. So I'm actually learning and enjoying these conversations. 